So, <clears throat> when I studied the Demoiselle de Mignon and the uh, Cubism, I found that there was a lot of writing, a hundred years worth pretty much of writing. A lot of it was anecdotal though, like uh, little stories, little anecdotes about Picasso himself. So it seemed to me that around Picasso, there was a lot of hearsay and a lot of anecdotes. What ends up making what I call the Picasso market. I think the Picasso market went until I don't know when exactly, between the wars or something, when uh, what came about was what I call the D Dali market. This is market one, beginning of the Picasso market, beginning of the the 20th century and then the D Dali market near the, uh, the middle. And we're still pretty much in that dollar dollarama market. And uh, before Picasso market, the Picasso market was basically just uh, commissioned uh, painters, court painters. Uh, there was realism and verismo or whatever, uh, realism in the Zola kind. The, uh, the literature, naturalism, all that stuff, uh, realism, uh, the, uh, the working class, it was Marx and uh, Engels and uh, the realization, like really the, the factory workers and the mine workers and Van Gogh and all them, and, you know, tragedy and all this, but uh, really what was happening to painting was that a new market was being created. It didn't just happen uh, like a market and it wasn't capitalistic really. But uh, I'll let the uh, political economists talk about markets. I'm just saying that in art history, you have, uh, you used to have like guilds and master painters. And it was the same as uh, masons, you know. Then what happened with painting in particular is that the whole structure was uh, replaced by uh, a new market, a new way of uh, seeing the artist as a, uh, a new world king sort of thing. It wasn't just a guild master because there was nothing really uh, spectacular about being the leader of a, a guild of painters. I mean, yeah, you, your name, your stamp was, you know, that's what the uh, That's what was used, but also uh, you weren't you weren't like uh, you weren't a god or you weren't a personality. You know, your name was used. The guild you worked for the guild. You started the guild. You were the master of the guild. You were once a, a menial uh, worker in the guild, and you may just you worked up to become one of the. You were the guild itself, but you weren't. It wasn't like being a Hollywood. Uh, you didn't have paparazzi. So, so I'm going to talk about the philosophical brothel, which is Picasso's uh, Le Demoiselle d'Avignon painting. In a moment.